Okay, I think this is working. Uh, hang on just a sec. Alright then. Hello. Welcome. My name is Ellie. You may call me garbage. You may call me Ellie. You may call me boss lady. Just don't call me Shirley. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm been planning on doing this. I've planned on doing this for quite a while. A really long time. And today, I finally decided to do so. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing Stardew Valley, as you can clearly see. I've played a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean, you know, a few hours of this game. So I kind of know what to expect. Um, but anyway, let's start a new game, shall we? There's quite a few customization options here, which I quite like. There's orange cat, gray cat, uh, tabby cat, dog, dog, dog. You got a few options, you know? Hmm. I love that sound. Okay. Let's uh, fill out our character sheet. That's basically what this is, yeah? Keep it simple, you know? You can be uh, one of those, you know, s smarties. Or like a vampire. You know? Which is pretty nice. We're gonna give ourselves a little bit of a tan. Because we're on a farm. Eye color. That's sufficiently disturbing, right? Eh. We'll see about the eye color in a little bit. Hair color. Now we're talking. Now, you might be wondering how many options there are here. Well, for hair options, there's over 70. This video game really spoils the player. Look at all those options. You can also change, like, your outfit. Give yourself a beard for no reason. Other than because you can. Some glasses. Lots of cool stuff. Not sure if you can customize that later in the game. I haven't played that far ahead yet. But, uh, let's see. You can give yourself the Waka haircut. Because... Nothing says farmhand like dressing up as an anime character. Are there any good farmer anime? I know that Spice and Wolf exists. Look, I have a very specific aesthetic preference. 
blue hair I, I quite like in video games, so shut up. I'm just kidding. It's, it's just something I like in characters. Uh, let's see. You can change your pants, like you can give your you can give yourself a dress or a skirt, some shorts, if you really wanted to go full gone freaks. And of course, your shirt. Oh, these are overalls. I think. No, wait. Oh, it's the accessory. Never mind. You can. I don't know why there's a duck bill here. Maybe it's an inside joke that I'm not getting. There's even more shirt options. There's over 110. Look at that. I'm giving, giving my character a little pea coat. Eh, pants color. Would it be tacky to give my character, like, bright red pants? Oh, jeez. In the daytime, I'm Marinette. Just a normal girl who stalks boys for, 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 for years and is still not able to talk to them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nothing wrong with a good pair of blue jeans, but, uh, I don't know. Maybe just a bit more on the amaranth side. And let's see what we can do with the eye color here. Can coordinate the colors of this outfit a bit better. Strap in, folks. This is what you're in for. I, I am very detail-oriented. I take my aesthetics seriously. And I'm no fashionista, but I usually at least want the colors to match a little bit. And we're going to be looking at this character for quite a long time, so I don't want to... don't want to quite... don't want to mess it up. Yes, that's fine. And there's a number of farms. Let me just go over them really quickly so that uh, those of you who have not played this game could uh, know what this is about. All right, so standard farm, you know, just a plot of land. Good for probably a first time playthrough, maybe. Riverland farm, there's a lot of rivers. But I found that I wasn't using the rivers around there is nearly as much as I maybe should be. But if you're obsessed with fishing, you could do that. Got the forest farm. Uh, yeah, uh, not, not much here to say. It's in the woods. Hilltop farm. Uh, it's probably a lot of, um, climbing you have to do. And there's a lot of ore deposits. Wilderness, yep, good land, but uh, monsters come out. So if you want to specialize in combat, oh yes, there's combat in this farming simulator. Make no mistake, you will need to kill something before this playthrough is over. Four Corners Farm, if you're just completely indecisive and you want a little bit of everything, you get this one. And a beach farm. What would you grow in a beach farm? Coconuts? Coconuts.
And because I want to stay as on brand as humanly possible, we're going to call it Trash Farm. And favorite thing, I feel as though this is going to have some sort of significance later, but you know, I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, so. Let's see. Pick the animal. I like gray cats. They're cute. Favorite thing? Fanfic. And there you have it. Let me just tweak the hair a little bit more. There we go. And, you know, if you're trying to do a speed run or something, you can just skip the intro. But I'm going to do the intro because it's important to the story. You ready, folks? Buckle up, buckaroos. Here we go. Oh, no. Grandpa is dying. And for my very special granddaughter. That's right, y'all. I'm special. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Oh, wow. A whole envelope. Thanks, Granddad. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I already go through that every day, Granddad. It's called chronic depression. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Preach into the choir, Granddad. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Um, okay. I'll take your word for it. Now let Grandpa rest. Get out of here! XX years later. I love how it's open-ended as to how long in the future this is. It could have been decades. Could have been one year. Look at that. Joja Corp. Ew. Oh, man. I feel called out. This is hitting too close to home. Can you not, please? Oh, man. But hey, I think we're doing pretty well for ourselves. We got a gigantic, gigantic computer. Hmm. I guess I could open this envelope and just and just continue the story as I'm supposed to. But do I really want to? Hmm. Gee, I wonder, Paper Mario, if we should go ahead with the main story. Okay. Dear Ellie, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. I'm not a baby anymore, Granddad. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Bitches. Real connections with other people in nature, so I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. None of you watch Green Acres? Ah, oh, well. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy. <laughs> Trash farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck, love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, tell that bastard he owes me three fitty. My granddad's so po, he can't even jump to conclusions. He has to greyhound to conclusions.
Pardon me, just having to pardon me, just having a sip of my coffee here. That telltale hiss of a of an automated car uh, bus door. Yeah. Hello, you must be Ellie. Is that Robin from How I Met Your Mother? Okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. You mean, I'm not even five seconds new in this town and I already have to interact with people? Oh, yeah. That's a beautiful trash farm. This is trash farm. Oh shit, did I pick the right farm? Oh no, there's one specific farm I wanted to I wanted to use, but I think I forgot. Oh, <laughs> uh, hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, I got so caught up in the role play. I got so caught up in the role play that I just completely uh, whoops. Okay. Uh, be right back.
Okay, uh, we're back. Oh boy, that was embarrassing. Um, yeah, so I got everything situated. Uh huh, yeah, yeah. Robin farms right over here. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. All caught up. There we go. I chose the forest farm because it reminds me of home. This is trash farm. It sure is, Robin. It sure is. <laughs> My character's like having a panic attack. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath the piles and piles and piles of garbage. With a little dedication, you'll have it slightly better than it was in no time. And here we are, your new home. Alright, I don't know if any of you have ever watched um, Phalus or any of the reviewers that surrounded the Nostalgia Critic, but we'll see. See if you get this reference. Ah, the new farmer! <laughs> There's an old man meme, you know. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. I thought I was called Stardew Valley. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very rustic. Yeah, because it's covered in rust. Look at that. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Leave the jokes to the professionals, Robin. Rude! Don't listen to her, Ellie. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied that you buy one of her house upgrades. Humph. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. How about no? How about I don't interact with any of you and I just tend my crops and, and grill for God's sake? Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just dump it in this box and you'll get monies. Well, good luck. And it's already the next day. Oh, look at that. It looks like Christmas in here. I dig it. This is the television. You get your weather report for every uh, next day. So today it would be Tuesday. Tuesday's weather report. Uh, yeah, the uh, fortune teller. Spirits are very displeased today. They will do their best to make your life difficult. I don't know how much this effect actually affects the gameplay, but it's still interesting. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day. Uh, and living off the land. It gives you, uh, like agriculture tips foraging tips welcome to living off the land we're back again with another tip for y'all now listen up this one's for all you greenhorns out there chop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest yeehaw oh look a housewarming gift open it up wild parsnips Now, if only I knew what good parsnips were for. 
Man, my granddad was obsessed with trees. Let's take a look. Obviously, you got your gardening tools here. You use your scythe to sort of, you know, trim the hedges and such. You usually get fiber and, you know, wild seeds this way. And since I picked the forest farm, we got so many forest, you would not believe it. Yeah. Eh, eh, eh. Reap it. <laughs> this is actually quite relaxing. It's part of the reason why I chose this game. Most of it is kind of just this and the social links. Yeah, this will lead uh, elsewhere. Nice. Now, see this giant stump here? You need to upgrade your tools before you can get rid of it. So, uh, that's gonna take a while. Alright. Cool. love foraging. Get rid of this. Yeah. That's the hoe. Uh, here we go. Chop it down with an axe. Just want to clear up some space for farming later. Farming takes like... See this, this meter here? That's how much energy you got. If it gets too far empty, uh, you basically pass out. <laughs> So, uh, you want to reserve your, like, really, uh, strenuous labor, like plowing the land, or, um, for, 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 you know, like a designated time. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, these are all the characters, of course. These are our skills. Inventory. Now, by default, you only get this much inventory. Uh, for, like, an absurd price, you can upgrade it to having this toolbar, and then this one. So, we got our work cut out for us. This is a collection. I haven't quite figured out what these are for, or how to make food. I guess we'll figure it out as we go. This is crafting. You can craft basically anything here. Yeah, I'm gonna need a lot more to get a chest, which is, those are really useful for, like, storing away craft items. <laughs> okay, so, uh, let's just sell these for now. And as you can see, I've already played, like, uh, quite a bit of this game. I haven't gotten past, like, the first half month or so, but that's still plenty of time. This is about the time of day that most pe most of the people in the town start to, like, you know, come out and uh, socialize and stuff. This place doesn't open until 4 p.m. You would think it'd be open all night. Not so. Your character completely passes out at 2 a.m. So you gotta be in bed by then. Let's see, who should we meet first? I guess it would make the most sense to go to the store first. This is the bulletin board. Very useful information here. Uh, you got the, you know, the squares with people on them. That's their birthdays. These little flags represent important events. No help wanted. And since it's past 9 a.m., the, the stores and the clinic open at 9 a.m. So let's go inside. 
Good morning. Oh, that's the purchase. Here we go. Hey, it's Miss Ellie, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy some produce for you for a good price. His prices are all right, I guess. Oh, hey. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. I like her hair. It's very pretty. Nice color. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Right, so... A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Okay. What up? Hello, you must be Ellie, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. My husband runs the general store, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. You guys want to hear a funny story? Um, I am not a very good judge of sprites, um, which is to say I haven't played many games with sprites. So for the longest time, I thought everyone who lived in these houses were like mid 20s, 30s roommates rather than traditional nuclear families. <laughs> So it took me the longest time to actually piece together that these two were Abigail's parents. And so on. So, uh, <laughs> that was a trip. Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. When did they get the time to program peach saliva into this game? That's weird. There's a clinic. Can't go up there. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't go into anyone's rooms unless you're good enough friends with them, which I guess kind of makes sense. You want to see something fun? You can just rifle through people's trash. Right through their garbage cans. Just don't do it while anyone's looking because naturally they don't like that. I do not believe this sign. I have I have yet to see a dog come out of here. Oh, this game's so pretty. I like it a lot. Daffodils. Traditional spring flower makes a nice gift. Sorry, I just love the idea of just do 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 look through the garbage. Oh look, there's little tiny child. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. This is verbatim a quote from one of the Skyrim kids in Riverwood. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't remember which which of these games came first, but what, somebody's ripping off somebody else. I know that much. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could really change things. A farmer change things in a small rural agricultural town? Okay, if you say so. Sorry, I'm being I'm 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 being a major snark, but I I just really like to banter. At 3:40, people are gonna start heading on to this saloon or whatever. That's right. Pressing F brings up your journal. Uh, it would be a nice gesture to introduce yourself around town. Don't be a uh, what's the yeah, don't be a misanthrope, please. So there's like 20 people we have yet to meet. Getting started, basically, yeah. Um, this little indicator here will tell you when you got quests to do or something. We cannot enter this building yet. It's 
Pam. Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. Ooh, this is new. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. So, we got 18 more people to meet. I feel as though the protagonist in this game has a very, like, has very good reason to detest this company. But I guess we'll see if that unfolds later. Yeah, not much to do here. Not a whole lot of people to talk to. Let's go down to the saloon. That might be fun. Walking around, walking around. Oh, wow. Did you see that? That was a there was a pair of red eyes right there. Hmm. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. I'll see you around. That's cool. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? I don't know. Why do you yell at makeup tutorial artists online? Oh, more people. Eh. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. These people are quite nice so far. Good old-fashioned saloon. So in theory, you could just sit here. All day. In theory, you could just, like, find a chair and just sit there. Do nothing else for the entire day. The game would let you do that. As long as you, you know, go to bed or whatever. I guess we can say hi to these two. They work here on, um, evenings, afternoons. Well, hello there, I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Cool. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon, that's where I work. She said as she was working. Emily seems nice. Okay, this right here, this is interesting. Journey of the Prairie King. So, you know, it's one of your traditional shmup type games. Uh, I've gotten some practice and I'm a lot better at it than I used to be. I don't, you know, die almost immediately. But we'll see how I do this time. Oof. I can't tell what these are. They might be aliens or goblins or something. I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely certain. Oh yeah, there we go. The trick is to keep moving at all times, I think. Just keep moving and like use your power-ups as soon as you can. Sometimes you can even stack them. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot you can do to upgrade your, um, gun. As you can see, it's only, like, a limited upgrade. This just really feels good to play. The controls are really smooth. Now, I'm not really... As I said, I'm not really an expert on games that, uh, have this sort of old-school style. But... I'm liking what I see so far. It's been a lot of fun. And the sprites, as I said before, are really nice to look at. Okay, this is where it gets a little bit more difficult because there's, you know, uh, what's it called? Barricades? Battlements? Yeah. So that's going to limit your mobility a little bit. But you can also use them as a block between you and the enemies. I'm surprised I haven't died yet. 
Maybe it's because I'm actually talk- Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. It just feels so nice to be able to turn your brain off for a little bit. Focus on playing a good game. I like how the shotgun here actually feels kind of like a shotgun. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Going berserk. Yep, name of the game's just like dodgeball. Just gotta keep moving. <laughs> and not get too discouraged when you die. We'll see how much longer I can hold out here. <laughs> I love that one. Be cool if there's like a co-op mode. Oh. You see that guy that was just there? Oh, never mind. <laughs> they, they, they start to bring out enemies that are a little more difficult, like that guy there. You need to keep an, an eye out for those. Those function kind of like landmines. That's when having the gun upgrades really helps. Oh, and be sure to collect the coins, too, because uh, every couple of levels, you get this. Uh, let's see. I only have enough for the speed upgrade, so let's do that. I think that's a speed upgrade. Yeah, yeah. Slightly different barricades. If I really had to, though, I would, um, usually choose the gun upgrade. They can't catch you if they're getting shot! Oh boy. That was actually a pretty good run for me. I think I might have set a new record for myself. But, um... Yeah, as you can see, playing the game, I don't think it passes the time. So you can just spam it over and over and over. Yep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Another thing you can buy from Gus here, other than ridiculously overpriced food, is recipes. I don't know how to make these recipes yet, This game is very sink or swim. It kind of just lets you... It kind of encourages you to be proactive in figuring out how to do things. It's It doesn't really hold your hand a lot in terms of mechanics. Er, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the new town blacksmith. Er, <laughs> not new. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need an upgrade to your tools, I'm your guy. Because what's a small rural town without its blacksmith? Because blacksmiths don't just make weapons. That's like a, um, that was like a really minor part of their job. For the most part, they made things like horseshoes, wagon equipment, really important things, you know? Cows. All right, how many people did we meet? Wow, that's a good amount. About 11 more to go. First time I played this, I had a really hard time figuring out who I hadn't met yet because I didn't, I didn't realize that this was here. Oh, I should probably explain this a little bit. Um, so the single icon means that they're romanceable. You can be a, uh, a partner 
or whatever. Uh, the question marks mean that you haven't spoken to them yet. This is how many gifts you've given them. Now, you can give them up to two gifts a week, I think. And if they like it, it'll give you some heart points. Some amount of heart points. And this, of course, means that you've talked to them that day. Talking to people every day, um, it's nowhere near as like instantaneous as giving people gifts. But it does help increase your, um, your uh, relationship with them. So yeah, little things that I had to sort of figure out on my own. But, you know, if you guys are new to this, maybe, maybe I uh, saved you some time. Get back, wilderness. I am here to subjugate you. Subjugate you to my whims. It can be a little bit difficult to see in the dark, but, uh, all right. Looks like I just need to get these stones out of the way. The sound design is really good, too. It's, like, it's so satisfying to, um, to, uh, like, cultivate things, and you hear that stony sound? That nice, that nice thunk? Sound design is a lot more important than people give it credit for. Nothing like a good, satisfying sound effect to really add to the gameplay experience. But let's start with our farm now. Trick here is to um, click on the actual spot you want to uh, interact with, as you can see here. There's an option in the menu to um, have like a digital indicator to exactly where your cursor is, but I find that to be kind of intrusive. So I'm just gonna play it by ear, as it were. Oh yeah, see, it gives you a warning. Uh, hmm. I guess there's not a whole lot left to do, so I'll just chop down a tree or something. Nice hollow sound right there. Oh, and you can actually chop down the stumps. Only that's how it worked in real life. See, these right here. Uh, okay, wait a minute. I need to actually... There we go. Now, real quick, before I pass out, this is sap. Now, upon first harvesting it, I thought it was useless, but it's actually got a really good use for one thing in particular. And I don't know whether this does anything or not, but it's a nice aesthetic choice. Um, yeah. You save every time you go to bed. I don't think there's any man ways to manually save, but every, every night when you go to bed, uh, it saves for you. You get a sort of, um, what's the word? You get a tally of all the stuff you've done today in terms of making money. And that's really nice. Day two. <laughs> Weather. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow. I'll show you a little bit about what to do on rainy days. Ooh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. That's nice. We got mail. Arr, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Be sure to do that. But um, only at 9 o'clock, remember. Because uh, people usually aren't even up 
this time of day. And this is basically how you plant things. Just click on the item and then... There. Here's especially important. You have to water the crops every single day. Once a day. Every single day. Except when it rains. You don't need to do it when it rains, because, you know, obvious reasons, but yeah. There is a crafting option eventually that'll let you craft sprinklers, but for right now, we're stuck with our watering can. It's pretty easy to refill, as you can see. <laughs> Let's plant these two, why not? I did not even plan that. That that just ended that just ended up that way. That's really cool. Now, your farming skill, I believe, will only increase when you uh, harvest things. And of course, it takes time to grow things. So, let's see. I like making a cobblestone path, so we're just going to make a simple one. Just to show you. It's just like with farming. Just place it there. Nice. Don't worry, we'll be getting a lot more stone as we continue. You'll be surprised how often and how much these natural resources get replenished. Let's go the alternate way this time, so I can show you the uh, south entrance. As far as I know, every farm, every version of the farm has these two, and has like three entrances and exits. Or, uh, yeah. So you're going down here. This is the map. Uh, it's not very helpful since you can't fast travel, but it is helpful in knowing where the hell you are. A lot of natural resources here. You can just harvest them. Nobody cares. They'll just do it. Dandelion. There will be a lot of wild uh, plants like these. You can just pick up. Like in every game, um, they'll just show up here in this particular spot. You'll learn about it more if you like watch the living off the land TV. It's kind of what it's for. It's almost like a tool tip. Dandelion. Okay, it's 10 a.m. already. Time goes by pretty quickly. I believe time passes when you move your character. I believe that's how it works. I've gotten a lot more dandelions this time around. Oh, I don't think I've talked to this person yet. Ah, uh, Mayor Lewis told me you were just- you just arrived. I'm Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Let's see. How does that factor? Oh, ten more people to greet. Okay, good. Every character, naturally, has their own set schedule. So if you wanted to, you could wait outside their homes like a creepy stalker and figure out their every move. Isn't that wonderful? It's Willy! Say hi to Willy, everybody. Willy! Ahoy there, miss! Arr, arr, arr. Heard there was good. There was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month on the salty seas. I smell terrible. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Here, have my trashy old one. It's important to me that the artifician stays alive. 
And hey, maybe you'll buy something from me once in a while. Arr, Jim boy. We got a fishing pole. Bamboo pole. You can't use bait on this one. You have to upgrade it. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. It's true. Oh yeah, me shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. This man is literally Mr. Krabs. I don't know if you know that. Look at my character just standing there. You can re rearrange things in the pause menu here. Okay. Use the wa use it in the water to catch fish. You'll only be able to use bait if you buy the fiberglass and, you know, better fishing rods. But as a starter tool, this is pretty decent. Sometimes uh, oysters or clams will wash up here. It's pretty good for money. Huh. When did that happen? I must not have been paying attention. Got a couple more places I want to go, just to get them out of the way. Dandelion. Just a couple more places. This is the Libor B. The archaeology office. Whatever. Okay. Uh, here we go. Hello there. Welcome to the Stardew Valley Archaeological Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display. But I'm ha hoping to remedy that soon. Hey, find any artifacts or minerals out there. Would you let me know? Yep. Let's see. I don't think we've met this person. This kiddo. Hi! Nice. Eight people left. And as far as I know, you just kind of have to walk everywhere. Maybe that'll change. Maybe not. Oh yeah, this place is closed on Wednesdays. So if you need to sell anything, you gotta use the, um, the bin that Lewis gave you on your property. It can be a bit of a hassle, but eh. What you gonna do? So, how was your first night in the old cottage? Did you cry? I bet you cried. I do all me my grocery shopping here. Let's sell these. There we go. Technically, these prices are better than Jojo Mart's, but not by much. Oh yeah, you can change your flooring and stuff too. That actually looks pretty fancy. I might just purchase that one. Obviously, you can't afford these. But, um... I've never actually seen them do their aerobics class. So this is funny. <laughs> breathe in. Uh, breathe out. Exercising can be fun. She's a liar. Marnie smiles at you through a mist of sweat. Don't look, I'm all red and sweaty. Why should I care? Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting, she said while she was doing her stepping 
exercises. Altar of Yoba. Who that is, I have no fucking clue. But there's a shrine here. <laughs> They're just doing their aerobics class with, with the fire just roaring. See where else we can go. Sometimes you can find good stuff in there, but only sometimes. Oh, you're that new farmer girl or whatever, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be pretty. Actually, never mind. What a bitch. Isn't she cool? <laughs> and if we go this way... We go up this way, we get the carpentry place. Robin lives here. And, uh, some other folks. They're not present at the moment, so... Let's see, who else are we gonna meet? That's right, we need to meet the folks. That guy, him, him... Okay. I got a good idea of who we need to meet now. <laughs> it can be somewhat difficult finding people when you haven't quite memorized their routine yet. Bunny. Might as well say hi. Oh, hi. It's good to see you again. Take it easy. Raw. There he is. <clears throat> Hold on. <clears throat> oh, oh, Ronald Weasley. <clears throat> Love your sauce. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Oh, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fangirls love this guy. And I mean, can you blame them? He has such pretty long locks. Clearly uses tons of conditioner. Okay, I think, yeah, I think if we just go over here, next house, find here, there we go. Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Thanks, Granny. And now for the realist guy. <clears throat> It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Oof. Sick. Four more people. Need a hot meal? No. Your character never has to eat. Like, ever. Time. Can't play this thing. At least not yet. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so. Anyway. Did we talk to this person? I'm tutoring Vincent and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make a difference in someone's life. I'll tell you what. Being a teacher, or a tutor even, is a grueling, thankless job. She's doing a valuable service to the community. Right, I guess that's every everybody we're going to meet this evening, so... Might as well go back to the farm. Get some stuff situated. So yeah, basically the only place where you need to walk a really, really long ways to get back to your farm is like the mines, the wizard tower to the west, and the beach. Just, there we go. Doesn't that look fancy? Might as well sell the sap for now, since I don't have much to do with it. Coal is on only going to be useful when you get a furnace, and it's going to take quite a bit of resources to get a furnace. Maybe a day or two's work. So we're just going to sell that as soon as we get the chance. Yeah. See? Just to demonstrate. Back over to the bin. Looking good. Maybe just a few. Now we're getting somewhere. And if you ever get sick of it and you want to dig it up, just... There you go, with your pickaxe. As a matter of fact, might just... There we go. And we're done for the day. This is exceptionally useful. Gives you a lot of energy to work with. So if you're ever foraging by chopping down trees, make sure you get the ingredients for this. Oh, and the wild seeds are pretty useful too. Basically what you want to do is you want to get a lot of resources and a lot of, um, a lot of seeds without, um, necessarily purchasing them so forging is great for that and as you can see we do not need to water any of this now the thing about rainy days is that understandably 
during these days. Oh. Huh. Never saw this. Never seen this before. Looks so stupid. <laughs> anyway, the thing about rainy days is that normal tasks take up way more energy than normal. So you don't want to do a whole lot of farm work, probably. I think I'm just gonna... Oh, no, can't. All right, whatever. Another thing about rainy days, um, I'll show you in a little bit. But we gotta get there first. Get down to the beach. Here we go. Hey! See? A lot of energy. Should we be concerned that our character is constantly pilfering through garbage and eating what they find? Probably. Do we care? Not particularly. Claim. I don't know what this is. Duplicates of the same type of item don't take up, only take up one slot, so exploit that as much as you can, too. For some reason, salt water is treated the same as uh, fresh water for your watering can. Don't ask me how it works, because I don't know. Willy! We love Willy. We stand Willy in this household. Trout soup, really good for if you suck at fishing. Uh, uh. Pick up this item over here. Oh, a cockle shell. Merry, merry, quite contrary. How does your garden grow? With silver bells and cockle shells and pretty maids all in a row. Fun fact, the pretty maids are guillotines. Or were they iron maidens? Ah, whatever. Doesn't really matter. Okay, uh... Let's just... There we go. I'm gonna show you the fishing minigame now. It's quite a fun little minigame, as far as fishing minigames go. You just hold down the mouse button, let her fly. And then when you get a bite, you click. There you go. So if you've ever played Flappy Bird, you probably are familiar with this kind of thing. You just sort of click or hold the mouse button to raise up the bar. Trick is to get it in that sweet spot where it reels the fish in. You can make quite a bit of money just fishing. Which is why it's a great idea to use these rainy days as opportunities for fishing. Oh, my character looks like such a jackass. I love it. You can just, like, not press anything for that case right there. Seaweed doesn't create quite as much energy as this, but when you just need a little bit of more energy to keep fishing, it's pretty decent. Oh man, I can't believe it's been an hour already. Time flies, I guess. 
Now you'll be able to tell if a fish is really difficult to get because it'll be moving all over that bar there really fast. Nice. It gets a bit easier with practice. As you can see, we've already got nearly a thousand gold by doing very little work. You just, you kind of have to watch your budget a bit, especially since Pierre likes to charge out the ass for resources. Having bait on your hook makes that waiting time right there a lot shorter. Ooh, this is a trap. But it's a good trap because you usually get some good items if you manage to get both that and the fish, which I was not able to do. But fishing does, as you can see, doesn't take up a whole lot of energy, usually, so you can get away with taking a risk with it every once in a while. Come on. Come on. There we go. There's a lot of sardines today. One thing that guides are probably really useful for is fishing, because there are, like, seasonal fish, fish that only show up on rainy days, fish that only show up a certain time of day, and all the combinations thereof. A lot of sardines today. Usually I catch a bit more of a variety, but I guess today's a sardine afternoon. And of course, a lot of the times, especially early on in your fishing career, you're just going to get trash. And at least in this part of the game, trash has no value to us, so I just throw it out. Until I am told by differently by the game itself, I will just continue to throw it out. There we go, a herring. Nice. Oh, and you can gift fish to people, too. That counts as a gift. Don't try gifting it to Haley, though, because she'll hate it. <laughs> Learn that the hard way. Now I think it's a little less than 2,000 gold, or maybe a little more, give or take, to get that backpack upgrade, which you really need early on the game because it'll let you hold a lot more items. The next backpack upgrade costs 10,000 gold, which is ridiculous, but eh, can you do? See how the little stars there kind of is an indicator of the quality, I suppose. Yeah, especially considering the fact that I don't have a lot of inventory space right now, I don't really have the time or the patience for trash. Ironic, I know, but yeah, I mean, when you live in the trash, you can't exactly afford to carry it around with you. Trash is for napping, I say. Eh, 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 there we go. Come on. Different varieties of fish have different types of behavior, meaning that they will move in a very specific way. 
If you're really experienced or are like obsessed with this fishing mechanic, you might be able to like figure out what fish you've re you're reeling in just by its movement. But I'm still pretty green to this game, so. Wow, I can't believe how much money I'm making. That's nice. Okay, I think we've done enough fishing in the ocean for now. See you later, Willie. Let's go back to the mainland. Yeah, um, people's routines are different on rainy days, too. Because, of course, they are. Oh, hey, look. Nope. There we go. I have a craving for seaweed. Well, we've been catching quite a lot of seaweed lately, so... Might as well accept it. There's no penalty for accepting quests, but you should really keep in mind what you can and can't realistically do. Like, for example, if someone's all like, Hey, I need this super-duper ultra-rare crystal, and it's like your fifth day in the playthrough you're probably not going to make it. Which makes me wonder if there's a new game plus. Because otherwise, why would they put those up there? They're probably just randomly generated. I tend to overthink these things. Driftwood. Not what we're looking for. Bream comes active at night. Yes, you can eat raw fish. No, I don't think it's healthy. This would be a really good stakeout hat, actually. I think to get seaweed, I actually have to be on the beach, come to think of it. Because the fresh water, you usually get just algae. Have you guys ever seen algae in real life? That shit is disgusting. There we go, there we go, nice. Now I'll get to show you what can show up inside the treasure chests. Well, isn't that useful? Bye bye. really want to get that anchovy. Or, no, not anchovy, seaweed. I'll try maybe once or twice more and then go back to the saloon to see if I can meet some people. <clears throat> not quite. 
Nope. Ugh. There we go. Nope. Alright, for all the marbles, one more time. Of course, the one time I actually need the thing, I can't retrieve the thing. No, not gonna go for that one. Ah, well, I tried. The quests take, let's see... I guess 24 hours to complete, so you have the whatever time you have on the day you accept it, and then all of the next day, if that makes any sense. Oh, hey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor, and another fan favorite. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all of the residents of Pelican Town. Rewarding work. Hope you'll find your own work event equally rewarding in time. Thanks, man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Look at my dumb, stupid hat. No, I don't have time to chat with you. Sin! Let's talk to Willy. Willy! Ahoy there! It's nice to see young folk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah hi, hi. I need a little warm yet to be ready for another cold night on the ocean. Today would be a good day to explore the mines. Who knows, you might find some rare ores. I don't know when the mines actually open to the player. He doesn't want to buy your fish. And we don't have inventory space for it anyway. Hey, kid. You're too young to be moving around, moping around in a place like this. This morning, I accidentally stepped on a bug. How on brand for you. Clocks tick tick tickety. Tick tick ticking. So there go back home. And you really want to utilize by the time you actually want to get to, you know, the bed, you wanna have used up as much energy as possible to optimize your time. So let's just chop down some trees. Oops. There we go. Takes a lot of chops to be a lumberjack. Do you have the chops? Just put those away simply because. Acorn. Important for crafting a field snack and for growing trees. But since we got the forest farm, we don't really need to worry about that. We've leveled up our fishing. Wonderful. I think we can get the new fiberglass rod. Uh, Willie will send us a letter if we are. If we're ready for that. Yeah, so this is everything you put in the um, put in the selling bin. 
all the other money we made was like just a transaction. So the fourth day. Time sure does fly, doesn't it? Sunny day tomorrow. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us. A young lady from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits are very happy today. Damn, the spirits are in such a gregarious mood this playthrough. Some of my other... Uh, some of my other test playthroughs were not this, uh, positive in terms of their results. Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Go and pay out the ass at Pierre's. Okay. I just want to chop down about 50 lumber. And I'll show you why in a little bit. Uh, meh. I guess, yeah, I guess that'll work. It's a bad idea to plant trees near water sources. Because they just fall into the water. And then you can't retrieve or use them. Seven, thirty-eight, nine. Nearly there. I think just one good timber would do. There we go. And we've got a lot of stuff to pick up after that, so... It's just... There we go. A wooden chest. This is so useful. If only I could find a place to... There we go. You can even color code them. These guys knew what they were doing. Um, I guess that'll be fine. And then put these away. Have a snack. That's better. Uh, yeah. Now we can actually collect the stuff that we dropped. Nice. That's most of it, I think. Alright, water the plants. Water the crops. You know how it goes. You don't ever really need to roam far to get water for your watering can. Since in most farms, I think, you can just walk right over here. Doesn't take much time or effort. Put these away. calendar. Oops. <laughs> Hang on. It's Lewis's birthday on Sunday. If you give someone a gift that they like on their birthday, that's super duper extra brownie points. Good morning, Pierre. 
I'm happy to buy any produce, uh, any produce off you. I'll give you a fair price, of course. Your definition of fair and, like, my definition, I think they might be a little bit different. Do, 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 do. Oh, another thing. When their door's unlocked, you can just loiter around in people's houses. Just, just loiter. It's not against the law. Okay, how much is that backpack upgrade? Yeah, I thought so. Thought so. Oh, uh, yeah. Maru's a nurse. She works there. What up, Doc? Nutrition is important. Nutrition is important, so make sure and eat well. Try to increase your vegetable intake. Yeah, you n never underestimate the power of green vegetables. Home cooked meals are best. Do you cook? No. I plan on spending a lot of time with this with my telescope this summer. Nope. Nope. Too too easy. Too easy. That's low-hanging fruit. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Not gonna make a joke about that. Turlearn! Hmm, I wonder if I can get Pierre to cook dinner tonight. Chair. You know what make this even funnier if you could just if you could just rifle through people's refrigerators too. Because you know that's what I would be doing every single day. Hello, Ellie. You know, if I was much more narcissistic and had a larger ego, I would point out how similar the name Elliot is to Ellie. But I am a humble garbage person. How you doing? Yeah. Oh, hi. Morning, Abigail. Let's try this out. You brought me a present, thanks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get on people's good side. Alex, my boy. The air's starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. George. I can't talk right now, miss. Who are you people? I'll be ba baking cookies today. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. That's so nice, Granny. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. I would love that, Granny. Thank you so much. Granny's so sweet. Eh. Forgo that for now. Let's try to get that seaweed today. Let's let's just try. See, there's a muscle. You know what the most powerful or the strongest muscle in the body is? It's actually the tongue. It makes sense if you think about it. Huh, maybe fishing does take up more energy than I thought. It's not like I've done much else today. Fine. Here we go. Maybe we'll find something cool this time.
That's pretty cool. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Thanks, Willie. Forget getting seaweed for Clint. These are important. Oh, a frozen glade. You can break it open. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do that. So, we haven't gotten any yet, but there's something called geodes that you get from swinging a pickaxe at the boulders. I guess this is the ocean equivalent. Iron ore, that's really good. Okay. Nice. Hey, hey, it's Sam. Let's say howdy. Uh, clouds look great this time of year, don't they? Like scoops of vanilla ice cream floating on blue raspberry sauce. Or maybe I'm just hungry. That's adorable. Everyone in this game is so adorable. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. You got that right. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget the realities of your life. Okay, redheaded Belle. I get what you're putting down. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. see here. Oh yeah, you can uh, hit up the jukebox too. Gulp. I've been looking forward to this beverage all afternoon. Bitch, you literally just walked in the door. How drunk are you? Pam, I'm concerned for you. I, I think I think you I, I, I think we need to cut you off. Oh look, it's Haley again. What up, girl? I've decided that I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw all last year's styles to make room for the new ones. Women be shopping. Oops. <laughs> I forgot he was standing right there. Hey, stop that. Yuck. Oh, man, he hates it. See, does that affect all? Right, so, um, nighttime trash can diving it is. That was pretty funny. Listen, the, the, the garbage, it just, it, it's in my nature. I can't help it. In just a few days, those parsnips will probably be ready. But not yet. Chop, chop, chop. Let's see, what are my skills again? Forging, yeah. Okay, so we're not quite there yet. 
just taking a mental tally of my skills and what those unlock from my limited knowledge of the game. We're an awful lot of energy here. I think the two activities that take up, like, the most energy are plowing and uh, the mining. Keep selling this stuff. Maybe I can make room for another chest. Because I'm not sure what the max, um, max occupancy for, or, you know, the item limit for these chests are. So it might be a good idea to sort them by, um, by purpose. There we go. We can put this... Uh, let's see. Put this right here. We can make this one... And finished off the day. Let's do some pond fishing. Gotta level up that skill somehow. Awesome. Ola. Well, we are running on fumes now, so let's just call it a day. Nice. Nice. Uh, all right. I've been playing for quite a bit. I think I'm going to take a short break. Uh, get some water. Etc, etc. Be right back.
All right, we're back. Hope you had a nice break. Let's check the weather. Okay, rain on Saturday. Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. I jinxed it. Ah, oh, well. Oh. Uh, hi there. Good morning. Hello, Clint. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. Uh-huh. You want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I had an extra set of blueprints ring lying around here. Why don't you have them? Thanks. The furnace allows you to smelt metal bars. Bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay. I'm a gnome. Take it easy. Cool. Oh, look! Two things in one day. Hello, Ellie. You see this cat here? Oh. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray. Poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good cat? Yes, we will adopt the cat. Choose a name, huh? Baby. Because that's what we're going to call it regardless. Well, little baby, you be a good kitty now, okay? Her name is Baby. Back, wilderness. Get back. Oh, boy. I remember this one. Hold on. Here we go. To our value, Joja Mart customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to initiatives L61091 Joja Co. Amendment. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Signed, Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. Ugh, disgusting. Corporate nonsense. Ugh. Right, so, uh... I guess we can water these real quick. Gotta be quick about it. Hold on. There we go. As soon as we get that furnace up and running, we'll be able to make sprinklers. And that'll make agriculture a lot easier. All right, there is one place I wanted to go and check out in particular, but we'll need to get there fast. Back, wilderness, get back! Leak. Wild horseradish. Leak. There we go. They've got to be here now. Oh. Well, that's alright. Just run in place, run in place. There we go. On the dot. You've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. He's a little shy, but I'm sure it'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. I'm Demetrius. 
Local scientist and father, thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Okay, Mr. Demitrescu. We haven't met their son yet, so might as well futz around the place until we can say hi. Pardon me, I'm gonna have some Mountain Dew. Just sitting here in complete silence like an asshole. Hey. Hey, sorry if I seem cranky. I'm a little sore from work yesterday. I had to sort patient records for four hours straight. Yeah, I've known nursing students, and uh, based on that alone, let me tell you, it's a hard knock life. Meh. I'm, I'm bored. I'm out of here. Oh, job posting. For girls only. Psst. I need potato. You know what it's for. Keep it secret, okay? Um... I'm so confused. I feel like I should know, but... Potato? The only thing I can think of is like potatoes are starches and starch is good for getting stains dry clean. I don't know. Did you remember your wallet? What an asshole. Business has been slow since Joja moved into town. It's hard to compete with their selection. Yo, what's good, Abby? Wow, I just realized it's Friday. Sometimes, I could totally lose track of time. Same. The food at Jojo Mart might not be the healthiest for my family, but with such low prices, you'd be crazy to shop anywhere else. And they're the only ones that supply my particular favorite brand of chips. That's a real thing. Hey, it's Farm Girl. Did you get new pants? You're doing something right. Thank you? Oh, I almost forgot. It's my day for doing push-ups. Every time I do push-ups, I try to do one more than last time. Pretty cool strategy, right? Good himbo child. Good boy. Uh, let's see. What was I think? Oh! It's a fine looking day! On days like this, I like to help Evelyn with the public gardens. She's strong for her age, but I think she appreciates all the help she can get. And what was I trying to do? Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Gosh, I can't remember. There was something I wanted to do. Hmm. Maybe I should go back over to the carpentry place just to see. Just to check and make sure. 
What the what's his face isn't there? I've memorized some little tiny bits and pieces of folks' routines in this game. Not a whole lot. For example, I know that she shows up here at like 1 p.m. Haley is ignoring you. Great. Here, have a soda, you bitch. Gross! I hate carbonated beverages. Of course you do. I should have gone with flowers. Bitches love flowers. Without fail. Yeah, if you wanted to do a, a chicken coop thing, you're gonna need more money. No, no, I don't want to upgrade the house. I want to shop. As you can see, no money, mo problems. He's, he just sits there all day. I respect that. Maybe one of these days we'll meet him. One of these days. Bunny. Bunny. Yep. Everybody's walking around. Did I ever tell you we used to live in this city? There's a lot more stuff going on, but it's also kind of noisy and hectic. It's hard to say which is better. George spends the whole day in front of that damned television set. I wish he'd go outside more. Some fresh air would do him good. My old lady voice isn't very stellar. Sorry about that. Ah, spring. The season of pastels. I actually prefer jewel tones myself. Oh, excuse me. I was mumbling about fashion again, wasn't I? Yes. Yes, you were. No, go away. All right. Hmm. You know, I actually have some dandelions stored up. So we could make a, a little batch of seeds there if we wanted to. Right, less farmland. But I wonder how much less. Hmm. Need to put some of this stuff away. Radical. Dandelion. Just a few more here. Eh.
There we go. I freed up some land. Should be able to grow slightly more crops now. If you dig in the dirt, you can find some interesting things. Do you dig it around in the dirt often, Penny? Trash. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't affect him much. Hey, look! Cool. Marnie doesn't seem to notice that you're there. Good evening! It's nice to see you socializing with the townsfolk. It's good to stop by once in a while and see the latest what the latest news is. The fresh air of this valley is good for body and mind. A quick stroll outdoors always invigorates me. It's simpler to be friends with the trees. They don't have much to say. Damn, girl. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Handle and salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. Depressing, huh? Aw, oh, look at that. That's sweet. Don't you have work to do? I don't know. Don't you have weirdly creepy videos to make with your spouse? Hey, there he is. Now we can say hi. Oh. You just moved in, right? Cool. Should I let Sam win for once? <laughs> nah. Hm. If I could give the cue ball a bit of a top spin, maybe I could... And because I am addicted at this point, let's do a little prairie shooting. Serpentine. Oh yeah, and the goo that um that shows up after you kill them slows down your movement just a little bit, I think. Yeah. 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 You know, sometimes I like to think that the ki that the little character is shooting pellets of his own spit, like in the westerns. Every time I play this game, I suck just a little bit less. But not by much. That's a little smoke bomb there. Gotta pick up the coins. Gotta pick up the coins. Come on. There we go.
Hmm. Maybe if I avoid the goo piles, I I'll... I won't get stuck as often. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, right, right. I was never all that good at Pac-Man. <laughs> I know they have, like, a program, a predetermined program, like, list of movements, but I, I never got to memorizing them. I just kind of ran around. Like this. Some runs are luckier than others in terms of power-up drop. As you can see, sometimes they don't show up nearly as often. Extra life! That was lucky. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Um there we go. Oh boy, I'm getting turned all right. Oh, okay, okay, I'm I'm getting cornered. Okay. Oh all right. <laughs> I gotta stop letting them corner me like that. That was my fault. I deserved that. Oh, that's interesting. The time meter still... The time meter stays the way it was when you die. Man. About time you showed up. Run. Run, little prairie man, run. Don't get killed off like you did on Bonanza. Nah, I'm just kidding. Little Joe never got murdered or killed on Bonanza. They just liked you to think that he did. And then he always had some sort of weird fever dream. It was a whole thing. Wait, does it actually pass the time when you play it? Maybe a tiny bit. Let's see, who haven't I talked to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess it's time to go. Oh, it's fit. <laughs> Do some mining. Hey, there's a geode. to craft a furnace again. Right, I need more copper ore and more stone. Well, I won't have a problem with the stone, that's for sure. You know what? Just to show you guys what it looks like, I'm gonna work myself to exhaustion this time around. Suffer. Suffer. 
Wait, can you kill yourself this way? I have to know. I have to find out. I have to find out. This is so mean. Oh, there we go. Oh, couldn't take it. And I'm about to show you why. Yeah, see, you wake up with only partial energy, which is probably the best incentive for going to bed at a decent hour in a game that I've seen. Because, like, it's not, it's not a real person. Who gives a shit? But if there's, like, a gameplay mechanic that is harmed as a result... Hello, baby. Yep, sunny tomorrow. Spirits are somewhat annoyed that you decided to overwork yourself to exhaustion. I've got... I've got some new items in stock. A deluxe fishing pole and some bait you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon. Signed, Willie. Ellie, someone dropped you off at the clinic last night. You passed out from exhaustion. You gotta take better care of yourself and go to bed at a reasonable hour. I've billed you 165 G for your cover your medical expenses. That's the other incentive. All right, harvest. More, more parsnip. More. Cool. All right, and it's Saturday, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wonder. Oh, right. There we go. One field snack. And boy, do we need one right about now. Cool. Nope. Need those. Daffodil. High quality daffodil. You can also separate them if you like if you just want to use one item per stack, you can just yeah, do that. Keep foraging around just a little bit. Yay, an oyster. There's Willy. If the local fishing scene got a bit more lively, I might expand the shop stock. Incentive to go fishing, my, my lass. La lassie. Yeah, there we go. Pardon me. Willy, I got a gift for you. I got a gift. Give gift. A gift? Thanks! Does he like it? 
Where is he? Yeah, this is the gift log, which is really handy because once you discover whether or not a person likes a gift, you'll have it logged up. Normal gift. I'm not sure what that means. I guess they don't feel particularly one way or the other about it. Eh, whatever. I think you would be most useful, most efficient with your resources if you only gave people gifts they really, really liked. That sounds like a good strategy. Pierre. Oh, finally. Ridiculously expensive, but yeah, somewhat well worth the price. Wonderful. Now we can carry extra stuff. Foraging won't be such a chore anymore. Is it just me, or does Abigail have an unhealthy interest in doom and gloom? I don't know. Did you mean to raise a goth girl? Maybe I'm just too old to understand. Yeah. The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. I bet you could straight up just give this bitch a frog and she'd be all like, ooh. You know, some girls are just like that. I personally would not like to be given a frog as a gift, but I wouldn't have a panic attack either. Daffodil. Ouch. What's good, Emily? Emily. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. And it's such a long trip to the city. I spent all morning doing my hair. Now the rain could mess it up. Life is hard sometimes. Hot girls, we have problems, too. We're just like you. Except we're thoughts. Alright. Here, Haley, I finally got a gift that you like. <gasps> For me? Thank you. What did I tell you? Bitches love flowers. Cool. I used to love me looking at the clouds, but I have trouble seeing them these days. I'm old. My eyes just don't work as well as they used to. The weekend is no different than any other time for me. That's how it is when you're retired. Here you go, Granny. I have a parsnip just for you. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. 
Yeah, we did it. Maybe, maybe if we get on Granny's good side, she'll give us snacks. I wonder where Alex is at. I think those are his grandparents. I'm not sure. Not girls, we have problems too. Fishing time. Oh, wait, I almost forgot. The geodes. Gotta process those geodes. They could be worth something. Do it. A limestone. Two limestones. Lime scale. Rust. Ground in dirt. Abysmal. Not a single piece in the entire collection. Pop. What's this? You found something. Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in greater detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Oh, and who knows? If you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. Pay me. Think about it, will ya? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. The library is one of Pelican Town's greatest features. It's funded on with the taxes we collect from local businesses. Uh-huh, sure. I want to donate. Donate one of these. I guess we can put it here. Another good reason to do quests like this is they'll just give you free money. Clint, will you buy this limestone? Yes, he will. Nice. Okay. Now we can go fishing. Perfect. Bass. I should really buy some uh, some seeds from Pierre. Let's see, what do we want to buy? Tulips might be nice. Uh, 
let's buy two of these. And then... Let's see. Do some math in my head here. Eh, I'll hold off on these for a moment. Now, when I say not a whole lot of agricultural stuff should be done, probably doesn't apply to seeds because you can just place them. In fact, it might be an optimal time to plant them because they'll just auto-water themselves. That's a good idea, actually. Let me try it. A uh, couple of those... And why not? Very good. Oh, there he is. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me. Must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. Hey, Gus. Gus, Gus. I have a fish for you. No, no, no. What? You can make fish out of it. Make- make fish dish. Asshole. Let's see. Don't give Gus fish. Or at least that particular fish. Can I do anything for you? Take care. Yep. Mm -hmm. Pam isn't responding. She's too sloshed. Good evening. Can I get you anything? Maybe I should cook something new and exciting today. Something spicy. Yep. Shane! Why are you bothering me? I want to be alone. Okay, jeez. It's nighttime and it's raining. You know what that means. Fishing time. Yep. Whoa. This one's a fighter. Oh, yeah.
awesome. A bream. I think every time I go fishing, I'll save maybe one of each kind, and then the rest of them I'll sell. Just so that I have some gifts to experiment with. Or I could just, you know, look them up off screen. But where's the fun in that? The fun is in the discovery. Although I think I can safely assume that Haley does not like fish. <laughs> in general. Nice. Whoa. There we go. Oh. The rain in this game is really nice, too. Surprisingly simple. You just need a couple of those little pixels. And then just a pre-made... Well, you know. Shad. I'm about to tell you why a katana is not a good sword. Come on, you little bastard. One more fish, come on. Come on. Good. All right, let's go. Make it back before I pass out. Eh. Nah. Run. Run, silly little farmer. Run. Let's see here. Eh, that's fine. Baby. All right, Scarecrow and Fertilizer. Particularly cloudy with a light breeze. Expect lots of pollen. Spears are somewhat mildly perturbed. Luck will not be on your side. Queen of the sauce. Greetings, it is I, the queen of sauce. Here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir fry. It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. 
Oh, that's good. And make sure to cook it until it's nice and bubbly golden brown. <laughs> Learn how to make stir fry. Nice. All we need is some coal, some wood, and some fiber. Need more fiber. Not a problem, there should be some nearby. Very good. Is that enough? Yes, it is. I made a scarecrow. So now, when the crows do inevitably arrive, the scarecrow will tell them to back off. Water the plants. Oh, that's right. Now I can show you what the sap is good for. Fertilizer. Improves soil quality, increasing your chance to grow quality crops. Gonna save up some of that. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, hi there! Dot dot dot. What an eyesore! This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Kids these days, kids these days. But listen to me, I sound like an old boomer. Joja Corp has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm just going to go ahead and sell it. Sigh. Here, let's go inside. Hmm. Wow, what a dump. And it's got a little goblin fort in it, too. Hmm? What's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I rem dilapidated than I remember. That's a one that's a five hundred dollar word right there. Oh my god, it's a jello apocalypse. What? What's the matter? Are you ill? Uh 
You saw something. Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. You didn't see any supernatural phenomena. You were just crazy. Don't you know? There it is again. You're worrying me, Ellie. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. The mayor straight up like, fuck this, I'm getting my lunch. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you have some extra time. Okay. Strange indeed. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. That reminds me. There's got to be some good mods in this for this game, right? But uh, this is still my first playthrough of it, so maybe I'll hold off on that. Well, that's one way to fast travel. Nine o'clock. On the dot. Help wanted. Need eel to skewer a shish kebab. Eh, like I said, there's no reason not to accept quests. Today is Lewis's birthday. We will give him a fish. Hey. What, you want to talk to me? I'm busy. Can't you see I'm doing the sports? Oh, yeah, we love that frame rate. Mm. Got those behind-the-counter blues. Surprisingly, I relate to that. Here, have a fish. Please never bring this to me again. Asshole. Do 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 ba da 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 ba da 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 da. And nobody's here. I'm leaving. Da 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 da. da. Oh, hey, it's George. Aren't you cold? They don't make sweaters like they used to. Sigh. Blah, 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 blah. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. Going to visit Robin and her p folks. Uh, yeah. Hi. Do you have fun working at the farm? Hmm. First real dialogue choice. No. Yikes, I'm sorry. Have you ever thought of doing something different? <laughs> no, I just left my entire previous life behind so that I could do something that I don't like doing. It's good to take a break from work every now and then. I guess that's kind of difficult when you live on a farm, though. Hey, at least in the winter you don't have to worry about crops. That is not true. I hope Demetrius doesn't blow the house up with those science experiments of his. I'm not even sure what he's working on. I think it has something to do with plants. It'd be great if he had, like, one of... Oh, Pam. Are you friends with Gus? He's a really good guy. He gives me free beer on my birthday. Pam, I'm... You know what, Pam? You do you. 
I think I've planted some of these already. So... A couple potatoes. A couple of these. That'll probably do it. You know where I haven't explored yet? Oh, wait, first, I gotta find Lewis. So many people to talk to. Hello, um, the weather's interesting, don't you think? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Eh. Sup, Abs? Oh man, I've been pushing up my homework all weekend. Looks like I'll be pulling another all-nighter. I bought the tastiest spring onion from Peter's shop the other day. He said he found it himself while exploring the mountains. I don't know. I didn't know Peter was such a talented forager. Me neither, Lewis. I've been Mayor of Town for over 20 years. No one ever runs against me when it's time for an election. I like to think that it means I'm doing my job well. I like being mayor. Okay, have a fish. No, 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 don't eat. There we go. Oh, it's for my birthday? Thanks. <clears throat> he was so sad when I gave it to him. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's really funny. <laughs> What? You can't just give people raw fish and, and expect them to like it? Stop the presses. My sister's so weird. Sometimes I wonder if we're actually related. I can't do a, sol a good solid snake voice, but let me try something. Hmm. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this. You might need it. Wow! This sword is a piece of crap! Name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I like chain-smoking cigars and eating live bugs and snakes. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. Maybe. Idiot. And at last, we have all of our tools. Okay. Level one. Hey. I wonder how many levels are here. I wonder if it's as many as Tartarus. There we go. Copper ore for free. Whoa, okay, um, hang on. Yeah. Eh. Kill it. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. So this is the whole combat system. Ch 
ch ch cherry bomb. Hey, quartz. Oh no, you don't. It. Eh. Oh wait. Eh. It. Eh. Oh, oh geez. Oh no. I've been gooed. I've been slimed. I've been Nickelodeon slimed. Come on. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. What am I supposed to do with this? Oh well. Just keep swiping the sword at random. Like a bum. I'll just... There we go. And then just run away. Just run away. Run away. Hardwood, huh? Good for fences, probably. Probably enough mining for now. All right, the hermit. Gotta say hi to him. Someone was throwing rocks at my tent last night. I just had to wait it out. Jeez, dude. Whoops. Hey, it's Bastion. Hey, your name is LA, right? Okay. Let's see if I can make it to the live Barbie in time to donate these ore. These ores. Run. Almost there. Damn. Closes at six. Okay. Well. We'll remember that for next time, I guess. Is there not a single person in this freaking town that likes to be gifted fish at random? Otherwise, why would you make it a gift option? I'm busy, can't you tell? Busy getting crunk! Don't you have work to do? These are assholes. Sigh. I wasn't very productive today. Hello, I hope your farming life is panning out as you hoped. Okay. I guess I'll just farm some beans and then I'll go back into my little house. Uh... Uh, whatever. I figured out that the best way to plant stalks is like this. With untilled space in between. Edo. Edo 
no potato. I think I'll just keep farming stuff here and then maybe keep crafting stuff in the other. Yeah, that should work. Huh. Do, 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 do. Bringing up some geodes. Scared off any crows yet, but soon, soon it will happen. How to win friends. Give gifts is a great way to build friendships. Learn each person's individual tastes and everyone will love you. Great. Explore the mine. Yep, could be valuable minerals, but it's dangerous. Lots of quests now. Got lots of them now. Baby. Leveling up. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Robin here. I know there's a lot of stone scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider giving me a, having me build a well for you. Wells can be placed all over your farm. Service convenient places to refill your watering can. Get off my back, Robin. Jeez. I got plenty of water right here. Potatoes. Check my social links. Yeah, I could use a boost. <laughs> it's baby. Okay, so copper and iron. How much copper do I have? Only that much? Jeez. All right. I don't know you. That's my purse. What's up, Penny? Hi. Oh, did did you need something? Nice. They're open. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting, huh? I have minerals, though. 
Oh, wait, no, I don't. Shit. <laughs> that is my own ass fault. That That is my own fault. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm getting some supplies for the saloon. Pierre's got the good stuff. Nice. <sighs> That's a pretty decent wallpaper. Maybe I'll just... I am not spending my money very wisely. <laughs> Uh. I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Carolyn, don't you know? Don't you know that a girl's room is her sanctuary? Her secret garden? Also, maybe she just doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> Oh, hey, taking a break from work? I just love animals, Miss Ellie. Treat them kindly and we'll become friends, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Sweet. Okay. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> Gotta hand over this mineral. Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's a pain in the freaking ass to traipse around this town at this speed. Do, 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 do. I wish I had a skateboard. Wonderful. is the geodes. Ooh, malachite. Several malachite, in fact. And whatever the fuck that is. Let's sell some quartz. There we go. More donation. Getting quite a bit for our collection already. Isn't that great? farmer. Good afternoon, Sam. Hello.
just making my rounds, seeing where everybody's at. Birds. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. I live out here by choice. Cool. <laughs> Nothing here. Ski. Whenever I'm struggling with a technical problem, I always take a look. Surprising how much a change of scenery can help. Mm-hmm. That is true. Gib gift. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> I cannot get a break with all these damn gift things. Just can't catch a break. I know someone who will appreciate my gift of fish. Look, I bought- I got you a bream. A gift, thanks. Yay. Oh, either less. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, now, let's actually see what we got. Normal gifts. Eh, whatever. I'm kind of new to this town myself, but I really feel at home. Oh, hey, look at that. She's using a camera. Ain't that nice. It's good to have hobbies. <laughs> Here, maybe. Uh. Just better go foraging, I guess. Foraging. Horseradish. I always get a little bit lost in this area. There we go. Dandelion. Horseradish.
I guess that's everything here. Let's get to chopping, I guess. I think I'm starting to get what Leia meant when she said, The trees. The trees are my friends. Crafting. <sighs> I don't really feel like figuring out what the slime is for. Yep, yep, yep. Cool. Still got some energy left. Just gonna keep doing this. Chop down some debris. Clear out some grass. Pine tree. Or a fir, whatever that is. Maybe create one more of these. Just to be on the safe side. <sighs> Make it pink, I said I suppose. Uh Eh, whatever. <clears throat> Alright, I think that about does it for me today. Uh, let's see. When would be a good time? I think I'll probably do this again next week maybe the week after uh probably one of these weekends i'll uh post it on my channel to let you guys know it's on my uh it's on my profile here on twitch so thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day bye